Now uh, we're gonna demonstrate how to change the best before date. This is automatic expire date, rather of a date. So, uh, for example, tomorrow will be 1908, 2017. So, if uh, if you want to change the date for different products, what you need to do is we need to press Escape a couple times and go into end editor, press Enter, go in and press down to select your message, highlight your message, press right arrow to see edit, press enter, go into edit, object, now it's now object, so this is the first object highlighted, now if you press down, second object, so you want to change your second object, edit, no, enter, sorry, and this is the format, how to write, how to, you want to write your date. But this one is a font size. If you go down, you'll say calculate by day. So if your product is one month, you'll type 31 days. Next, enter. So now you've changed your best before date from now on uh, up to 31 days. So your, your product will be expired in 31 days. If you want to change this one to gain one year, you need to type 365. So it's one year. Enter. And escape, escape. And print on. After you put the cartridge in. For example, on this printer we have ex using external for the cell. We're not using encoder. Our cartridge is out. Okay. If we go to <coughs> system settings here, this is uh, printed by single nozzle automatic nozzle selection, and the printed direction will be this. And external photo cell we're using, the mode is normal, and the speed is 13. Depending on, it is matching to this convey speed. So 13 meter, meter per minute. And on this message, if you select tab A button here, you will see the message number two has 420 millimeter delay from the sensor installed here. That's the main sensor of the main so We have integrated this printer using the relays and whatnot. We're using the and the ports and we have integrated. Now this printer is using the main sensor of this labeling machine. Okay, so that's it. So after we put the cartridge in, press on hardly. Alarm should go off. Yes. Now we got cartridge here. Now ready to print. So print on. So now printing light is on, and also this indicator is turning. So now we are ready to print. So let's check on this bottle. Sensor hits. This. So this is the printed message. Yeah. So if we want to move the printing message a little bit backward, we need to increase the delay. The delay is pressing tab A button, say 420. If we want to move this in printing a little bit backward, we can uh, increase the delay. So increase means it will print a little bit late. Or if we decrease the delay not value to 400, it will go to move to 4. So yeah, that's how the delay works. And of course the power cable will be, should be connected and this uh, sensor cable, integration cable should be connected. <coughs> now the main important crucial thing is you always need to take your cartridge out 
from, from the printer because this is solvent based cartridge so the cartridge liquid will dry on a nozzle itself so if it dries we cannot fix it up so you always need to take your cartridge out and put the black cap on now your cartridge is safe so that's it